tonight, we're going on a food tour with a local food expert who will show us some of the best places to try authentic Japanese food. Join us as we explore some hidden alleys, try some delicious food, and learn more about the food culture here in Japan. Our tour guide Andy, he will be showing us around this area called Shinsekai. He is half Japanese and half Australian, but he is a local here in Osaka and knows all the hidden gems of this area. This is our first stop? Yes, this is first our first stop. First stop it is, if you want to make it out there. <laughs> Notice that Japanese people have OCD, so we need these little bags. Yeah, little we big. see these everywhere. It's for bags, isn't it? For bags, you can't yeah. put them because that's dirty. Even at Starbucks, you see people like open those um, kind of like bag holders. Yeah. So they're everywhere. So I should use it then. Yeah, you should yeah. put it. Oh, it's yes. that's, that's definitely suggested. There you go. There's a lot of interesting things here. Is, uh, we've got the, the chicken on the top, and then we've got the, the pork, and we've even got like pork womb, intestine. Outside skirt, tongue. The tongue's pretty good actually. Uh, this is called uh, waribashi. And wari comes from the word waru, which means to break. And bashi comes from the word hashi. You guys know as chopsticks. So, how many chopsticks, waribashi, do you think we use in Japan in one year? Whoever's closest gets a good uh, prize. In one year. When you're all of Japan. I don't even know the population of Japan. 129 million people. A billion. A billion? <laughs> it's a staggering just over 25 billion. Oh my god. The most used out of any country in the world by far. And as I said, this is all related to our obsessive compulsive disorder. We, 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 can't, use, we can't go into a restaurant and use chopsticks which have been used by other people. You know, the restaurant would say, well, okay, it's better to use this because it's cleaner. It's clean. We know no one's used this. I'm the first person to use it and the only person to use it. One time use, so it's really bad for the environment. Made a pine or bamboo, but you can't stop it. But can you recycle these? You can. This is called Nagaimo, and it's a yam which is really popular in Japan. Now, it's got that sticky stuff and it's like okra. You've had okra before but you've probably never had nagaimo and um, it's delicious. Mm. It's crunchier than I was expecting. It's really nice. Yeah but it's a really mild taste and that's why the wasabi is really tasty to go with them. It's nice. The pickles are like clearing our palate, so we're ready to eat some grilled Crazy food. Right? <laughs> yeah. Tasted that with the the bum wine. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. This is so good. It is good. This is called um, oppai, which means breasts, and it's pork breasts. Pork breasts? Yeah. Oh, that's new. Yeah, it's called oppai. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to chicken breast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It has a distinct smell, doesn't it? I smell oh, something, right? It smells like breasts. <laughs> what does that even smell like? <laughs> Bouncy and tender. <laughs> That's delicious. Oh, <laughs> what is this? It's like traditional Japanese archery. Oh, archery. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about Osaka is that a lot of things just fly. And uh, during the daytime, this is for families. At nighttime, this is for drunken men. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and it's A-OK. -okay. I mean, you try to do that in other countries and people get hurt. But yeah, even when we're drunk, we're pretty responsible. We might vomit here and there on the train stations, <laughs> but we wouldn't uh, aim, you know, uh, an so arrow Asaka at someone. Asaka seems to have a um, good sense of humor. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I used to spend hours after uh, after school going to the arcade like this, playing uh, Kings of Fighters. <laughs> this is a good Japanese fight. Wait, you game. mean after school or you mean during school? Or well, even Street Fighters. Well, both. I sometimes skip school to go play. It. This is the second edition, uh, 1993. But I want to show you something that you've never seen before. Okay. And you probably won't see it again. It's actually a rubbish game. No one plays this unless you're like me and you want to reminisce. You come here, it's a static oh, screen. Yes. Oh, it doesn't move. I used to play here. this, yeah. They're, they're in no uh, these gaming parlors anymore, anymore because no one plays it. But here they awesome. move. They play it here because we want to reminisce. The people that are in here are not really who I expect to be in here, you know what I mean? Because younger generations will not understand these games. They would be playing at home. Yeah, they play know? PlayStation 5. Yeah. This is for older generations. Because you only see older people playing here. Yeah, or people our age going here for like a date. <laughs> I see a couple over there. But yeah, there's like 50 year olds, there's a 40 year old. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I get too excited that kind of give it away how old I am now. <laughs> so far this tour has been so neat because it's not just about food. Being here in this kind of retro area of Osaka, we also get to see a lot of like local people, it's like entertainment activities at yeah. night. We have a question for you. So when we were looking up this area, Shinsekai, mm -hmm. it said that it is one of the more dangerous areas in Osaka, is mm -hmm. that true? Well, the <laughs> Japanese people, they think it's dangerous. Uh, That's true. So, okay. you know, Japanese dangerous uh, doesn't mean anything for foreigners like you guys. It's not like crime. Well, there it's is related. crime. It, 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 because there's um, the Yakuza, which is, is it like a Yakuza stronghold just over that way. Ah, uh, okay. And, um, but we're not, there's no connection between regular citizens and the Yakuza, so it's not, it's not dangerous for us, but because there's a high presence of Yakuza, Japanese people say it's kind of dangerous. It, it's not dangerous, nothing bad happens. It doesn't feel dangerous, that's no, the thing. No, no, no. Like, you know, sometimes the internet says something and then you gotta come and see for yourself. And then, yeah, it's quite a lovely, just retro area with tons of food. about the fourth most famous dish of Osaka. And this guy's been here for so long, more than 40 years, just making two dishes. Remember Japanese people, they just want to perfect everything. Mm -hmm. And we don't, you know, if you go into the Thai restaurant, you could have like 50 dishes. Yeah. That doesn't happen in Japan. <laughs> We're the opposite, as you say, like, we, what we're good at, we just refine and just keep refining it until we make it perfect. Mm. And that's what we've got here. This is uh, a kitchen and a as good as it gets. So I just learned an uh, interesting fact though. Mm -hmm. You know these cloths here? So when the shop is in business, they put this up. And then at the end of the day, when they're done for the day, they remove this. So people will know that. You know, it's over. Yeah, it's over. But also this provides privacy for the guests who are eating yes. inside. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> Today's mouth-watering adventure is kindly sponsored by Get Your Guide, which is an online platform where you can book unforgettable travel experiences around the world. Coming to Japan, we were most excited to eat, so we hopped on the Get Your Guide app to find what kind of food tours they have here in Osaka. From ramen cooking classes to bar hopping tours, they have a variety of curated experiences for you to choose from. We chose this highly rated Shinsekai food tour because it includes 10 different Japanese dishes and according to the review, we get to explore some underground non-touristy places. 
Booking a tour on Get Your Guide is super easy. You can check the availability right on the website and they have a very lenient cancellation policy as well. Get Your Guide is a great resource for anyone planning their next trip. Go to their website or download their app to browse over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. You might just find your next unforgettable experience there. Yeah, it's our turn. This is tofu. That is, it's fried tofu. And it's it's sweet. So this is kitsune kitsune? Kitsune. Kitsune udon. So it's udon in a dashi broth with a little fox tail on top, which is actually fried tofu. Sloping is okay. Um, slurping is telling the chef that you enjoy it and also mm. it cools it down. Mm -hmm. I have trouble slurping with udon noodles. They're a bit <laughs> thicker and heavier. <laughs> Easier with the ramen noodles. But wow, that's delicious. I'm try the fox tail. The tofu is. It's sweet. It's really yummy. It's a little bit sweet. One thing I noticed about Japan is that people eat a lot of carbs here. Yeah. <laughs> the other day I was at 7-Eleven, there's a sandwich inside, it's a stir-fried noodle with it. <laughs> That's not normal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we were in there like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like two minutes. <laughs> so that udon is very light so it's actually a very popular breakfast item so the owner would be preparing the fruit from five in the morning and the busiest time of day for him is actually from seven to nine so people would come and eat before work and i can see why it's a very very comforting food to have especially in the winter to have like a hot bowl of udon before you start work We are here already. Wow. Our third stop. Wow. 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 That's so good. Oh my god. It's full of textures. Yeah. The crunchiness from the bean sprout and the sauce. The sauce almost tastes like yaki soba sauce. It's actually got um, a bit of sake in the sauce. Ah. Very like less than 1%. Um, but it's a common sauce in many of these yaki dishes. Economy yaki. Mm. yaki. It's like that sauce. What is it? Worcester sauce. Worcester. Oh. We always say it wrong. Worcestershire. What? Worcestershire. 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 But that's more liquid. Mm. Yeah. It's, more liquid. Mm. it's like an explosion of flavor mm. in your mouth. But it's light because it's got those sprouts mm. in it, so it's not mm -hmm. like totally heavy. Yet. It's not. Yeah. It's not heavy. It's not greasy. It actually feels really light and I like that the sauce is a little bit like sour so it gets your you know, appetite going. So what do we have here? You guys have had ramen, you've had mm -hmm. soba, you've had udon, but you may have never had sawmen. So it's not something particular of Osaka, it's all over Japan, but um, it really hasn't found its way overseas so much. So it's salt and wheat based, very thinly sliced and then we have this sauce called tsuyu. Tsuyu is filled with mirin and soy sauce. Mirin is like a Japanese cooking sake and then you can add some ingredients to it. So something like this, a bit more and then uh, delicious on a hot day. Mm. It 
It's so good with the ginger. Does it taste like soba? No, because these noodles are like soft and it's like really gentle on the palate. And they don't have much taste, so you're really tasting like the ginger and the mirin and the soy sauce a lot. I think this one is easy. I can uh, replicate at home in the hot summers in Thailand. We can have some salmon, salmon nights. I don't know what that is. Is it like dried uh, seafood? Dried I think it is a part of fish. It's yummy. What is it though? It's dried fish. It's a fish, right? No? Stingray. Stingray! <laughs> it's a dried stingray. But it's so, ah. it's soft. It's not chewy. Is it like a certain part of the stingray? Yeah, it's the wings of the stingray. You're a bit red. Mom? Yeah, are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> You've been drinking a lot of that uh, uh, sour plum wine. Mm. You still have room for three more establishments? Two more. Two more or three more? Uh, two. Two okay. more, okay. Two, two more. more I can. Mom, Mom was ah! quite far because I said we should shoot the same as you. Okay, we can see. Hey. What, what did we say? Osaka des. Osaka des. Dan. Osaka. Osaka des. ありがとうございます。美味しい。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがとうございます。美味しい。ありがと
drunk by the end of the night. <laughs> I haven't drank so much in a while. We usually don't drink much, but I feel like this type of night eating requires some drinking yeah. to really enjoy, enjoy the food. Andy's great to enjoy the conversation. He's actually went out right now to pay the bill and this is kind of how it works with this tour. So we pay $80 per person for this tour and it includes all the food that we are having today and two alcoholic beverages mm -hmm. as well. So and we don't have to worry about finding a place, yeah. we don't have to worry about paying it. Yeah, Andy takes care of all of that. And I think some of these restaurants, if you were coming by yourself, you may have to reserve. Um, so that's the good thing with this is that we didn't have to do mm -hmm. anything but eat. So far, this tour is one of the best. Andy took the time to explain the culture, explain the dish, explain the, the place itself. Yeah. And also, in general, the food culture of Japan. And he knows what might be shocking for us. So he's able to kind of connect the dots for us so we can learn um, more about the culture from both like the Western tourist perspective and also the Japanese perspective. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it's, it's a really, really good tour. Do you still have room for the last one? Yeah, we have one more place to go to, but I think I can do it. <laughs> Come by. Come by. <laughs> Um, a lot of quirks of uh, Osaka, which you don't see in other cities. And this is one of them. Vending machines full of alcohol, every type of alcohol. And that is um, all available to anyone at any time. Uh, you can see an ID scanner at the top, but if you look closely from this side... No, you need to scan your ID first before you can buy it. No, no, you don't. Oh. Look, look behind it. Every single one of these <laughs> are not linked up. Not even one of them. <laughs> So anyone can buy it. Anyone. Anyone. You, can, like, you, can, you can find them in different places in Osaka. Uh, I can show you another place where they've got five of them all lined up together. <laughs> Is it only in Shinsuka? No, it's in Osaka. You can drink and walk anywhere, anytime in Osaka. This yeah. goes into the ball, the taco yaki. Oh. Now taco means octopus. Yaki, octopus. yes, yes, octopus. just like that. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> yaki means. What does yaki mean? Yaki Fried? is the type of the, the cooking method. This is the crunchy stuff that goes in it. Oh. Oh, shoot. This is how they make the takoyaki, and it's super difficult to make. He'll show you how to make it, and then you can try it yourself, but I can't do it. It looks easy to me. You kind of just roll the balls with the chopstick, that's it. Just watch, you watch. Watch and learn. Okay. <laughs> on this trip to Japan, but I didn't have it in any other cities because I was waiting to eat it in Osaka, which is where takoyaki originated from. So today we're trying two of them. This one is the one with ponzu sauce. So this one is the barbecue one. It's like um, a pillow. It's so soft. And then inside you have the chewy octopus. But I think that's kind of the, the sauce and the toppings that kind of pull it together. It looks salty, a little bit creamy. This is really yummy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Thanks, Andy. We had Thanks, a great guys. time. We had an awesome. awesome time. Much appreciated. <laughs> and, um, Really good luck to, to your future. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I'm sure you do great things and have fun. Have fun. Eat great food. Explore and be intrepid. That was an amazing tour, and I really enjoyed all the food, all of the sights, all the drinks. It was it was pretty amazing, and I really feel like we got to see a side of Japan that 
we haven't experienced, even though we've been here now for a few weeks. Osaka is a different vibe and it's a lot of fun here. So do this tour when you come to Osaka. We'll link all the information in our description box. Thank you so much for joining us and as always, have a wonderful day.